Francesca, thanks so much for coming in to host Survivor Talk. Well, it's Jeff. You know, Francesca, the story of Survivor Talk is a pretty fascinating one, if I do say so myself. It started when I hosted Survivor Live on CBS.com. We had the ads for Charmin with the bears and the toilet paper. I never understood why bears needed toilet paper. Anywho, so then we did Survivor Talk after that, and in the biggest twist in Survivor history, we just saw... Oh my god. Medical! Medical! Francesca, are you with us? Have you crossed over to the other side? Stay away from the light, Francesca. Stay away from the light. What? Oh, thank God. Don't be alarmed. All the blood is now rushing back into your brain. But that was a pretty close call. No, I'm fine. I just fell asleep listening to your tremendously boring story. Clearly the heat has gotten to you and you have no idea what you're saying right now. No, I'm pretty lucid and I know exactly what I'm saying. Let me just take your temperature Don't just touch to me. make not touching you, not touching you. Can we just talk to Joe? Sure, sure. Absolutely. Would you like the umbrella? No. I'm okay, good. just you. All right, here he is, Joey Amazing, joining us now. And uh, Joe, let's get right into uh, the big uh, collapse in the challenge, because that was a scary, scary moment. Scary. And, yeah. Heart stopped all over America. Yeah, so I pretty much felt the faint coming on, and I just looked at Jeff and said, Jeff, hey, can we go to one hand or can we add on a section of pole? So Jeff looks over at Keith. Hey, Keith, is, are you good with that? Yeah, Jeff, I'm good. And uh, <laughs> Jeff walks over to go get a couple more pieces of pole. And I just remember, like, that cold sweat feeling inch up my back. And, uh, yeah, just, all right, I'm out. Yeah. I'm coming down. Well, I'm so glad you're okay. And the, your, your vulture tribe mates, <laughs> they, as soon as they're like, oh, he's not dead, let's vote him out. <laughs> I mean, they actually did, they did console me a little bit, and they, they voiced their concern. We see it play out on the air, but take us through, Joe, a little bit about what happened after you collapsed. When you started to come to, you see you're surrounded by doctors and cameramen and Jeff Probst holding up an umbrella. Uh, and what was that whole situation like and what happened then? I remember, it's like being underwater, and you can't think straight. All you can do is just kind of sit there and listen to what's going on around you. And I remember Dr. Joe, he gave me some oral glucose. And it's essentially just a tube of essentially sugar. And just get your blood sugar up. And then I remember he's just like, yeah, here, keep eating that. And then I remember kind of rolling around. They sat me up. And then I remember kind of coming to, like, being able to open my eyes and look and see, and Jeff was holding my hand, and it sucked. It was yeah. terrible. Oh, I just remember, I just, this, all these emotions, this pressure, this sadness, this anxiety of the game, letting my dad down, letting the fans, all these things running through my head, and, you know, Jeff's just like, how, what are you feeling? <laughs> it's terrible, Jeff. I'm not feeling good right now. Um, so it, it was a lot. It, it's just a lot. I've never been that low, I've never been that broken before, so it was, it was a cool experience to get to, get to that point. To push yeah. yourself to that yeah, point. Yeah, to push yourself. Yeah, I've never done that, that's the new one. <laughs> so, Joe, why are you so good at challenges? Why are you so good at Survivor challenges? Like, to all the little boys and girls at home who want to be on Survivor and want to be a Survivor challenge beast one day, like Joe, what should they be doing right now to prepare? Ba balancing things, judging by this season. <laughs> Alice, well, and that is, that is a very, very big part of this game. I mean, how often do we see knots and balance and just simple puzzles? And that's, growing up as a kid, when I watched this show, I literally kind of cultured my life to play Survivor. I mean, everything oh. I did, I feel like had <laughs> some you know, little thing that maybe I could apply this to Survivor. Maybe I could, this would help. Because I really did, I really did think I was going to be on this show since I was about 13. That makes Everything. me feel so yeah, old. That's... Every time someone tells me that, <laughs> I feel so I did, old. I visualized that's what I was going to do. That's so cool. What, what, let's, yeah, let's... It's really surreal. Talking also, I thought this was interesting, you mentioned this on the radio, that people won't know just from having seen the episode, is that you were very sick going into that challenge. You guys were very sick uh, uh, by the campfire with, uh, in a fever, breaking out in sweats. Tell us a little bit about that. As soon as we got done with the family visit, uh, my, dad, my dad left, and I went into just this nasty hot sweats fever, and I couldn't hold anything down. I was running to the bathroom all night, and it was bad. I, I was very dehydrated, and I just remember trying to drink water, and 
I was, I just had, I had this, these chills all night and I went and laid down by the fire and I slept next to the fire. I mean, inches from the fire all night till, till the early morning and then tried to drink some water was still feeling kind of that clammy, not so healthy feeling and went into the challenge. So yikes. Yeah. Bad way to go that's into that's a bad way to go into the challenge. Yeah. yeah. I think, yeah, and there was a bug. There was a bug definitely going around. I remember production just saying, like, be careful, don't be sharing glasses. Because Spencer had the same bug that I had, and I think it might have been, I don't know if it was the stomach bug that Steven had, but there was something definitely in the water, something. Yikes. So, Joe, what was your, who would you have wanted to go to the end of the game with? What was your, what was your long-term strategy? Yeah, who was your final three, dude? I, I don't like. Don't take this the wrong way, but anybody. <laughs> really, really, at this point, I really I thought I could spin my. I thought I could spin a good enough web at the final tribal that no matter who I was sitting next to, I could beat him. Except maybe Jeremy. Jeremy was like the one that I was like, okay, because I've been loyal to Jeremy since the beginning. Tosh, I've made commitments with since like day two. I, I, I aligned with everybody and. I wouldn't. I wanted to sit next to Keith. I wanted to sit next to Kelly, Abby, Kimmy. I, I mean, anyone. I, I, I like. Just take me to the end. Just take me. It's it's tricky. I, I, I just wanted to maneuver my way to get to the end. Yeah. And then I, you just got to get to the end first, and then worry about. All right. Now, what am I? What are my cues from the jury? I mean, reading the jury's body language, it'll tell you everything you need to know about the game. So looking back on it now, you think final three, you, Jeremy, and Spencer, you could win? Oh, that's a great final three. That's a good final three. That would be. But it really manifested it a little bit in this season in these players, like this, these caliber of players. Let's give the fans this awesome final tribal. Yeah. yeah, no, they want the million dollars. They don't care about that. They, lo they love the fans, but only to a degree. Yeah. Only to a degree. All right, uh, last question for you, Joe, before we let you, we'll let you hop. What yeah. was more emotional, seeing your dad out there and having him tell you all those incredible things, how you're his hero and everything, or then watching it play back on TV? Mm -hmm. Uh, with all the swelling, soaring music and everything, because I imagine both times you probably teared up. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of tears. Um, definitely the first time. I mean, nothing beats the experience. Uh, and I, and just that whole afternoon of really trying to shut the game off as much as I could and really enjoy that moment with him. I mean, it was only like three or four hours we got to spend on the beach, which seems like a long time, but it went by so fast. Uh, for me, that experience of just embracing him, and we sat in the hammock together, and we're watching the ocean, and he goes like, "Your mom's gonna shit when she sees this." Like, <laughs> like, yeah, you're right. She is. She's gonna be pissed at you because you're not saying anything, right? <laughs> It even made me well up, so that's saying something, because I'm a, it's hard to do. But dude, look, all we want to do is, as fans, and, and Francesca is a former player, and anyone is, we want to see people go hard, and obviously that's exactly what you did. We saw how hard you went, too yeah. hard, some might say, uh, at the cost of your body. But dude, well done. We look well forward to seeing you on the jury. Bravo. And see what happens. You are such a joy to watch. Going to miss you on the season. You'll see me, you'll see me at uh, Tribals. Yeah, we'll see you there. See you later, Joe. Thanks, man. Bye, Bye Joe. Good. Good so anyway, when they talked about bringing Survivor Talk back, I was like, are you serious? Because if you're serious, that is awesome. Like Andrew Savage Tribal Council had awesome. So we had some meetings and... Oh my God. Medical!